Good morning, my friends. How are you this morning? All right, I can hear you all, yes. I can tell you right now that this morning I woke up and I'm feeling and a little bit down um, space. I have no idea really why. I have no idea really why. Most of the time I get up and everything is really... <clears throat> um, I wouldn't say exciting, but I get up in the morning and it's always a new a new opportunity to, to be refreshed. And But it's not every morning and my mind starts to think uh, that it needs to do, it has so much to do and so much to take care of. And I can often feel overwhelmed with that because I have, like yourself, most likely I have so many responsibilities and sometimes they're much bigger in my head. So maybe perhaps I feel um, falling behind in my work when, uh, with my administration and, and other practical things I have to take care of, contracts and planning my class and choreographing my piece at the moment. So I feel maybe overwhelmed. At least those are the labels that I'm giving this feeling, which is very interesting because this feeling that I'm having right now is a down feeling and, I, and I, what I recognize about these feelings, these up and down, as I've talked about before, that the impermanence of those um, constructs that come up is just, it's interesting because my, my feeling, my thoughts are labeling my feeling that I'm having, which isn't, if I haven't had this moment before, then what are those thoughts that are labeling my feelings if that makes any sense and that's going to pass and I know that's going to pass so I thought I would share that with you this morning because I'm in not such a great space I mean or in like this amazing happy space I'm in a good space and I'm watching it I'm watching my mind and I'm watching my thoughts and my mind is trying to give labeling to my emotions or my feelings, which I don't think is correct. And what I've learned is correct for me. And when things arise, they can almost try to hijack you or your thoughts can hijack you and make you feel as though that emotion is the definition of that thought, if that makes any sense to you. So that's what, and that's impermanent. And that's what I talked about before. What I realized is that the rise and fall of these thoughts with my moods or my feelings or labeling of these feelings, when I realized that they're so normal, these come and go, the, the appearance of, of the, the, the appearance of these constructs that your mind is labeling over your feelings. <clears throat> Anyhow, so... I, I'm just, I just thought I would just speak about this morning because I'm here with you and I'm um, very grateful and yeah, just I'm going to do this and I said I was going to do it so I'm doing it and I am here for you and I just want to let you know that it's going to pass and all of a sudden, maybe in 10 minutes, could be an hour, two hours, whatever, I will feel lifted again. And I think this, as I watch my thoughts go up and down, it is something that is consistent <laughs> and valuable to be aware of in my awareness of these uh, thoughts going up and down or labeling of my emotions for me is not real and reality. So I don't allow myself to be hijacked by these, these things. So that's quite deep in the morning with this morning talk, but my mind does have its way. So you know the the, the monkey mind that they speak about often, or they or people, you know people recognize that their minds are creating a lot of bullshit or, uh, yeah, constructs rising and falling, and knowing and allowing those appearances in your mind and looking at them and I like to say shining light on them 
doesn't give them any weight. And so they, they don't have any, I don't give them any more value than a passing thought was like a passing cloud. I don't give them any value. So I allow them to be and I allow my mood to be, but the labeling of my moods can be within my own power. And I can look at the label and the judgment of my mood and let it pass. And when I don't give it any more uh, value or validity, it will pass. And that's the impermanence of that mental construct. And I think by being aware of that little thing, it changes my entire life. Uh, it, it does. It, it changes my daily activity. It changes everything. Because when I became aware of it, and I let go of it, and I let them pass like clouds, my thoughts of labeling my emotions, I became better, and I became free, more free, and more acceptance of my accepting of myself. And then I'm not hijacked by these emotions, or hijacked by the thoughts of these so-called emotions. I like to think that we are energy. And in fact, I know that we are energy. What beats my heart, what grows my fingernails, and what grows my hair is what I believe I am. And that takes care of itself. And why wouldn't we have these shifts of energy that pass through us? So the mind likes to label this energy that is up and down. You know, in order for us to go up, we must go down and we recognize what we prefer. And because we prefer the higher moods, the more enlightening moods or the more fun and free moods and joyful and free is so incredibly valuable for us to recognize and to um, allow that to also, but to understand that they're not permanent. They are also not permanent. So that has something to do with success, little successes, big successes or whatever, and failure. This is the up and down. So watching these um, impermanent constructs that your mind comes up with. Oh, my shoulder. <laughs> Uh, my body. Watching these constructs, you can become aware of what you really are. And there lies the power of the intention that we spoke about in one of my earlier morning vlogs, morning talks. And there is a possibility to make a change and to make a change for yourself and for your own health and being aware of those mental constructs that are impermanent will change your day and it could possibly change your life. I, indeed, I believe it will change your life. And that's, the, uh, that's just what I wanted to talk about this morning. And I wanted to give you that. And because I'm feeling that this morning, I'm feeling not so in my regular mood but I absolutely value that and I embrace that and I love that because it is not permanent. And I can go this morning to teach in Rotterdam and it could be a great class. I could feel wonderful afterwards. And then I look back at this morning and what was that label that I gave it in that moment? So, you can think about that this morning. You can comment. Um, why don't you also, to I invite you to ask me some questions about, yeah, anything that you want to ask. I'll try to answer those, maybe. Um, yeah, I'd like to do that. Uh, it's just an idea. And maybe you can, you have some questions to ask me about something. I also just want to say that I am just, <laughs> yeah, of course, you know, I'm just a person who's living his life, who's sharing and who 
this is my my way of life and how I live. But I, yeah, when I talk to people and I share pe share it with people, I learn about me and I learn about other people. And by sharing these things, it uh, makes me feel, yeah, yeah, seen and valued. And uh, yeah, it's just my way. And yeah, it's just my way. So. <laughs> All right, everybody, have a great day. Take it easy. Watch your thoughts. Let them pass. Try not to attach to any of them, the good ones or the bad ones, and just be in the moment and just be uh, the happiest that you can be from where you stand. Be nice to people. Be kind to people. And in return, you're kind to yourself. So... I love you all very much, and I send you a big, big kiss for the day, and I will release a blog today or this afternoon, a recent one, of me dancing in the park. So, have a great day, and I send my love to everybody. Thank you for watching. Please click like, subscribe, and comment for me, okay? All right. Much love. Bye-bye.